Hi everyone, so let's take a look at the Pinebook Pro. Um, the Pinebook Pro is a spiritual successor to the Pinebook in terms of both form factor and underlying architecture, but not necessarily function as this strives to be a daily driver laptop for, you know, light usage, web browsing, watching uh, movies, doing terminal work, that sort of stuff. So, unlike the original Pinebook, which is made out of plastic, the Pinebook Pro is made out of a magnesium alloy, both top and bottom. It has, on this side, we have power, USB 3.0, sorry for the squeaky chair, and USB-C, and the USB-C does both power and data, as well as video out. And on the other end, we have microSD. Um, the build that I'll be demoing is running off of the SD. A headphone jack, as well as USB 2.0. Now, on the inside, we have what some users will probably welcome, a ISO keyboard. Now, there are various reasons why we decided to go with an ISO keyboard for the Pinebook Pro. Um, there are practical reasons, namely the um, ANSI keyboard, uh, which was present on the original Pinebook 14-inch, had issues with missing key presses, which this keyboard doesn't. It also has, uh, it's a better quality keyboard, it has a deeper uh, key travel, and then we've gotten a lot of requests for regionalized keyboards, and generally speaking, users in Europe who want to have a regionalized keyboard, they prefer to have uh, ISO so they can sort of customize it to their liking. <clears throat> we also have a much upgraded trackpad. This is an actual trackpad, so it is a point-to-point -point trackpad as opposed to an emulated mouse, as it is the case on the original Pinebook. We've got a 1080p IPS panel and high-quality materials. So there are already two builds um, available for the Pinebook Pro. Um, one is from Ayufan, uh, that's um, Ubuntu with Mate, and this from Mr. Fixit, which is uh, Debian with the Mate desktop. Now, I'll have um, I'll have the Ubuntu with Mate on the stream, so if anybody wants to see it run, then I'm, I'm gonna have that there. But we're going to take a look at this build now. So There are a few things that this laptop can do that uh, the original Pinebook couldn't. So, um, first of all, it can run 4K video. Here is a 4K clip, which many of you may recognize. It's of the lady eating a, whatever it is, a duck, a chicken. And as you can see, it's running at 4K, nice and smooth, in the desktop environment. Now, the other thing that works on the Pinebook Pro already at this early stage is hardware acceleration. So, to this end, I downloaded a Quake shareware demo and as you can see, it's running nice and smooth. This is a 1080p as well. So that's enough. But we also have acceleration in the browser. So it comes bundled with Chromium. And let's fire up a WebGL demo. So here we have the demo called Aquarium with 500 fish. And we're running at a near stable 30 FPS. The last thing I'm gonna demo is uh, playback. Um, so we should head over to YouTube and choose a HD video. Let's choose this one from Linus Tech Tips. There you go. 
as you can see, it's running at 1080p. And we can maximize the window, make it go full screen. And I'll bring up Stats for Nerds. And there we have it. Now, many of you probably wonder why is there no sound? That is a hardware issue with this PCB on this uh, development kit. So there are three things that do not work on this PCB. One is the char charging circuitry, uh, sound, as well as um, suspend. Basically, I think there is a hall switch on the, on the PCB, but there are no magnets. In the, in the lid. Now, as I mentioned previously, um, the Pinebook Pro can do um, video out using the USB-C port, so let me just show that before I go. this window right over here, full screen it, like so, and here we can open up, um, I should say, let's open up a terminal, we can actually full screen this, like so, and there you have it. So video out using USB-C already works. And as far as uh, software is concerned, the software side is mostly finished at this point. And in the coming um, weeks and months, we will be shipping uh, dev units to third party and partner project developers so they can uh, start porting their OSs to it. And those um, of uh, our partner projects who already have an OS running on the Rock Pro 64, they'll find it quite easy since it's mostly just a question of exchanging the um, uh, device tree. So anyways, thank you so much for checking out the Pinebook Pro. I'll be on the live stream today. I just had to throw this up a little earlier because it would be very difficult for me to demo this um, um, on the stream due to how the camera will be set up and everything. So thank you for that. Bye.